some boxing social and association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. We've done a 5k shakeout. The problem is everyone everyone's lost. done more than 5k yeah, and everyone got I lost. I reckon we walked about 5k when we were trying to find everyone. So no, I was pleased with that. It's a good little time. Nice and humid. It is Not humid, quite New Orleans. Yeah, no. But what a way to set up the day, Parsons. Madison Square Garden tonight. We're living a dream, boy. You're not feeling this, are you? I've gone for the Southampton, Southampton retro. Southampton's a little bit of a strange club, isn't it, really? It is. Like, I like As you know, B, I've all got but massive you know, fans. Yeah, but you know, like, back in the day, with the old before your time, with the Panini stickers, I used to quite like the old Southampton. I'm trying to think of... Matt Latiss. Matt Latiss. Who else? Mickey. You know, like, sorry. sorry. Oh, yeah, we'll We're all over the gap here. Um, Mickey Adams. Oh, yeah. you're really talking behind the right, yeah, yeah. I'm here. Um, anyway, yeah. away from the point tonight, uh, excited to Hulu Fair. Very excited, yeah, York. gonna be a great atmosphere. I think it's gonna be a great fire. Um, Andy's here, Andy Lee, Jason Quigley's. He smashed it. Yeah, he way. did, I Absolutely know. Absolutely smashed it. You said you were gonna do 27 minutes. I know, minutes, he mate. did, what did you yeah. Do? 25? 23! <laughs> what a Andy, machine. Andy, mate, stop what showing us up. Um, yeah, Jason's bang up for it. I think Edgar looks a little bit nervous because there's so much pressure, like, I mean, it's part of the, part of the problem of having me and us behind you is that we're, we're hyping you up like you're the next big thing. So all of a sudden you're at Madison Square Garden topping the bill, packed out, everyone's saying you, you're the new beast of the 168 pound division. So, but the special ones go and prove it. So we'll see if he can do that tonight. What do you think Edgar made of the Canelo news? Do you think he was bothered by it? Not really. I mean, we, we always knew that it was going to be two or three fights. So it doesn't really change a lot time-wise. Uh, might have to wait a little bit longer for it. But listen, that's if, if it even is a free fight deal, if he does make it through those fights, yeah. if he does retire. So we can't, you know, not basing the future on Canelo. We'd love that fight because that's the, the fight to get, isn't it, in the division? But there's also Munguia, there's Golovkin, there's John Ryder, there's Billy Joe Saunders, there's so many fights out there. Um, but now, not having Canelo, the job is to try and build Belanga so that you've got the bait to bring him back. Because the reason that we got Canelo in the first place is because one, we had a good relationship, but two, we had all the fights for him. Now we've got no fights for him. We couldn't even make him an offer. So, you know, we need to build Belanga into a position where Canelo against Belanga is a monster, but he's got a long way to go. Have you had any personal correspondence with Canelo since Yeah, the I spoke to him, where are we now? Saturday, Thursday, before it all broke. And I just said, you know, I heard all the stuff. I just said, you know, we were talking before that, I was supposed to meet him in Italy um, or New York, and I just said, good luck, mate. And he just come back and said, thank you so much for everything. And, you know, and we go, we, we've, got, we've got a good relationship. I'm not gonna, you know, turn up at his house next week for tacos, no. but we've always got on very well. We've done a brilliant job for him. We've made him hundreds of millions. And for that, I'm sure he's grateful. Going back and forth with Lee Eaton last night. Um, yeah. I saw that you dropped him a little message this morning. Go on, OD. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, just firstly, what did you make of his back and forth with I love this. I mean, obviously, me and OD have made up. I'm sure we'll never see eye to eye on the situation. But I love... It seems a know, little bit like a who said what to Eddie sort of war on the timeline. Like, OD's got my back on this one. Yeah, he has, yeah. yeah no, look, I fucking... You know, at the end of the day, fuck Leonard Ellaby. Like, OD's right. Like, did you see Len Ellaby? You know, you, you can't go around talking to execs like that. <laughs> Suck my nuts, Len Ellaby. <laughs> Fucking execs. Shut up. Talk to people how you want to. Like, at the end of the day, like, Len Ellaby wants to slate people online, slate me online. Let AD, OD go to war with him. So, it's good good for the fight. Listen, O'Hara Davis beats Rody Romero, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, good luck to O'Hara. Good luck to Lee Eaton. It's a dream come true for them. And let's see if... Leonard Ellaby and Rody Romero actually take the fight because I think they'll get beat in what they will think is a small fight. But, you know, for this one, I'm a big OD supporter. Just quickly a few more from me. From the last 18 hours since you've sort of come out and said that you're sending the offer to Dillian White, what's the, what's the crack there? Has it moved? You've got to move quickly, right? Yeah, the contract's right? gone this morning. Okay. Yeah, so it's with them. Are you I expecting mean, that to be signed? Not really, in really? all honesty. Like... I don't, you know, if they want the fight, it's there. Like, it's not going to be difficult. They've said they agreed to the offer, which they initially was completely unacceptable, apparently. But we got to move, like, so they're going to have their time. I'm not going to announce AJ's fight no, tonight. I'm going to give them the time to review it. And if they want to do it, they can do it. I'm going to keep pushing all week. I am convinced that the front runner of it isn't Dillian White, is Adjit Kabayel. He's in the hat. Confirm? He's definitely in the hat. 
he's unbeaten, he's European champion, he's definitely one of, so he's probably down to run. three now. Nice oh, wow, look at race. that. Top man, look at that. Yeah, an apple for you. Oh, thank you. Lovely. Thank Cheers, you mate. Much. Thank you very much. You get Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Hello, Kieran. No way. This is uh, Mr. Hugo Boss, uh, New York, by the way. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, Jesus. What that? What, just a, just a bait? It's just bread, that. Mr. Kieran's made the uh, boxing social. Nice one. Um, yeah. Uh, where were we? Oh, yes. Yeah, Caballero. He's one of the runners, I'll take it. Yeah, he is. Um, oh, yeah, one more. Uh, John Ryder. I know he wants Golovkin. Have you had any talk regarding... Ryder no, Golovkin? No. 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 Uh, John Ryder Munguia? Yeah. Belanga? Yeah. Do you expect to still work with Golovkin moving forward? Up Vacated his belt? Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll fight again. But if he does, we'd love to. Edward, thank you as always. Top man.